and welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day it is thursday the 7th of september 2023 mike smith senior analyst at gold markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the asian session of course there was a soft session overnight in the us the markets continued to pause after the recent moves higher it is beginning to look range bound at the moment which suggests that the market is just waiting for some more information which it may well get over the next couple of days U.S. futures were near neutral in earlier Asian trading, which has seemed to be drifting down a little bit, but again appear range-bound since Asian Open. Uh, and Asian markets are generally down following that U.S. lead. ASX is 1.1% down, the worst performer on Asian markets to date. European futures are pointing to a slightly negative open again, and the VIX is up again slightly, but still near the lows. U.S. dollar index is upsetting markets a little bit by edging a little higher. And at levels not seen since late February, gold continues to retrace from that key 1950 level and may retest the 200 EMA. Copper is still testing short-term support after bouncing down off a failed attempt to breach a 200 EMA to the upside and all edged higher again, possibly upsetting markets a little bit as it is at 10-month highs. And of course, the oil price is part of the inflation basket. Bitcoin continues to be choppy, but just about holding on to 25,600 support. And in terms of data, we've had Australian trade numbers, which are weaker than expected. Chinese numbers are also out and didn't impact on markets significantly. German industrial production, Swiss jobs and Eurozone GDP will all be out later for continued evidence of slowdown. I think that Eurozone GDP will be particularly important and may have market moving potential, as will the US weekly jobs and five of the Fed members are speaking tonight. So that also could move markets. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Slim pickings on the ASX, but we're still liking Kogan. We put this up yesterday to have a look at after that breach of 553. And we like this today. It's only neutral at this stage, but the fact that it's neutral on a day where the market is down suggests that there is some buying pressure in this, as does that handle today. You can see there it is towards the highs of the session. So one certainly to keep an eye on and see where it finishes towards the back end of the session and tomorrow. Uh, the GB pound Australian dollar looks relatively interesting. We've got a pivot level at 196.36 you can see how that was the high from three days ago and has really bounced across this level quite regularly over the last 10 trading days so the fact that it's back up here now is interesting so we're watching this level for a potential breach and could see it move up possibly towards this 197 level if we do get a break it's worthwhile being patient in an fx market which is very choppy at the moment, but that is one that caught our eye. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.